What's up everyone, it's Iceman Oz, aka J, and in today's video, I've got for you guys the PlayStation 4K, aka the PlayStation Neo, aka the PlayStation 4.5. Now, if you don't know what this is, basically it's an upcoming console by Sony, which is mainly supposed to deal with 4K gaming. There is no confirmed release date, but it will be releasing at 399 US dollars reportedly. So if you don't know about the specifics, there is going to be a base mode and a Neo mode when it comes to game development. And basically what this is, is every single developer has to create a Neo version of the game and a base version of the game. The base version will obviously have less graphics because the Neo obviously has an updated system hardware specs as you'll see on the screen right here you can see specifically the changes and the upgrades and they are quite significant when you look at them they are no joke they are a step up however when it does come to 4k gaming it's really not going to do terrifically well given these specs. To give you an example, I run Titans and I struggle to do 4K gaming. So with these specs, I can't really see the Neo doing too many games at 4K very well, at least on a solid frame rate. Maybe sports games could perform decently, but if we're looking at first person shooters that are coming up, I do not see a chance for those games to perform at 4K with these specs given to the PlayStation, codenamed Neo. Something else to note regarding some of the specifics, the frame rate for the Neo version of the game must be the same as the PlayStation 4's frame rate or higher, meaning that the frame rate for the Neo version of the game has to be at the level of the original PlayStation 4's or higher. And the reason that they've made this a requirement is they want to prevent devs from basically putting up 4K as an option at the risk of destroying the frames per second, which is a obvious thing to do because if developers are just going to push their game to 4K and the frame rate is going at 10 FPS, you know, that's simply ridiculous and it would make the game perform like garbage. So it's just a precautionary measure from Sony to prevent that from happening. Now, now there are a lot of things going on here regarding the developers being angry with the PlayStation Neo. There are close reports, specifically Colin Moriarty, who is a well-recognized member in the gaming industry with insider connections, is being told by a trusted source that developers are, quote, not happy with the PS4.5 and having to develop around it. Extra cost, planning, and other nonsense. He didn't name any names, but that really does make sense when it comes to it, because because now they're having to code for two different games because they basically have to upscale and downscale to suit the PlayStation Neo and the normal PlayStation 4. And the more I think about it, all the Neo really is is just a PS4 with upgraded hardware, which begs the question, why didn't you just make the specs what the Neo is going to be in the original PS4? Why are we now upgrading it to match 4K gaming when even when the PS4 was going to be initially released, we knew that 4K gaming was going to be a thing, so why make people pay an extra amount of money, an extra 400 US dollars, mind you, to get the upgraded version? It also begs the question that when people are on PS3 or Xbox 360, do they buy the PS4 or do they wait for the PlayStation Neo? And that is a situation that I'm in. I don't know whether I should wait for the PlayStation Neo or just get a PlayStation 4? Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about that. Will you be picking up a PlayStation 4.5, quote unquote, or are you just going to stick with your PS4? Or are you going to even stick with the old generation consoles? Ironically, uh, recently the announcement of the Xbox 360s have actually stopped production. So that's quite interesting. So it's really forcing us to move up into the current gen consoles, which is fine, I guess. But again, leave your thoughts in the comments section below. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like, share, subscribe, and peace.